Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Joe Sent Me. My name is Joe and I am your host for today. Today I've got some discovering to do and we're going to talk about Michael Malal London. This was a discovery sent that was sent to me last year, but folks, I've had some trouble with my computer and I've wanted to get this video done for quite some time. So I apologize for taking this long. I know most of you are already familiar with this brand but I'm discovering it for the first time. And yes, this truly is going to be a first impression discovery of Michael Malal. Now these sets go for like 25 bucks a piece. I'm going to include the link on the website down below so you can go there and check it out for yourself. There are two discovery sets that I'm going to go through here and I might be hitting some of the female ones and the male ones. I don't know. I'm just kind of going to go through like blindly and figure out what's what as I do this in real time. And I'm gonna be testing out on paper, although skin is gonna be a great uh, great indicator of whether you'll like it or not. I am just doing it on paper because I wanna be able to quickly get an idea, okay, this is what it's gonna be like, and I like it. So I always recommend testing it on skin. Inside of the box, also a 25% off came in the box, so that when you find the few that you like, you can add it to cart, add the code, and take advantage of the deal right now. Some, sometimes they're running deals on the website all the time, so just check it out. Um, MichaelMalal.com, again, I'm including the link down there. No perfume in their entire in their entire collection is over $110. These are all very, very fairly priced. I would say they're on the designer level in price points. So let's get cracking. I have 14 to go through, so I'm gonna to try to keep this as quickly as possible, but as accurate as possible for all of you. So first one that I'm pulling out of the box is called Ocean Noir, Ocean Noir. So let's do this one. Something tells me this is gonna be an aquatic evening scent. So let's see, I'm liking what I got. I'm liking what I got here for sure. I was right, it's a marine mist. Tangelo, black coconut, sea kelp, yarrow, geranium, amber wood, tonka bean, and musk. Mm, I do like this one. Roger Howell is the nose behind this one, by the way. Yeah, this is, this is an aquatic fruity woody that uh, I feel like is gonna be fun one for younger for the younger crowd uh and even i mean i think in your teens 20s 30s uh, even in your 40s you could rock this it is on the designer level as far as perfume quality like what i'm smelling this isn't niche but i do feel like it is a very likable dna and it's something that i think you're going to enjoy next citizen jill citizen jill this is a cool looking bottle and you'll probably just have to go online and look it up yourself. And let's have a look at Citizen Jill. Okay, yeah, I think this is gonna be from their feminine line. Uh, Bergamot, Citron, Danjou Pear, Poppy, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, Velvet, Musk, Amber, Vanilla, and Sandalwood. It's a sweet, uh, I would say sweet, semi-fruity floral because it's not terribly fruity, but but I think it leans more on the vanillic sandalwood and musk uh, base. So it's I think it's a base heavier fragrance, what I'm smelling. But I like what I smell. I think this is a great kind of a spring, summer, very easy to wear, again, lighthearted, young, jovial perfume there, so... All right, moving on to, this is Citizen Jack. So there's Citizen Jill, Jack and Jill. This is Citizen Jack, and this is Absolute. And here we go. All right, and I'm gonna let this kind of chill for a minute while I get this going. This one features melon, bergamot, pineapple, amber, vanilla, and musk. 
Now, if you're wondering, does this smell like Aventus? Not really. Uh, it does smell more like, again, a more generic, uh, younger, I would say sophomoric, uh, teenager, mall perfume scent. Uh, so it's 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 still good and likable. I'm not going to say that it's not. It's still good and likable. It's enjoyable. I, I should say I would enjoy wearing this. I really would. I don't know how long they will last. Again, this is just a sample test and just kind of get an idea of where this is going and how this will be. And uh, I, I mean, I like what I'm smelling so far. Next is uh, Ketoret. And this is 173 Candy. Ketoret 173 Candy. All right, so this one is probably going to lean on the feminine side, but let's see where this is going to go with this one. We're just over the halfway mark of the first Discovery set, just so you know, and we're six minutes in. Oh, beautiful. Love this. Citruses, quince, Jasmine, rose, freesia, amber, vanilla, wood, musk. Again, this leans heavily on the vanilla, amber, wood, and musk in the base. I'm picking up a, a, a big dose of that, but I'm really enjoying that. And I would totally wear this. Even though this is geared towards the feminine line, this one here, I would totally wear. 173 Candy by the Ketoret, or I don't know how to say it, the K-T-O-R-E-T, Ketoret line from Michael Malal. This is fantastic. I like it. I would rock it. It's really nice. It's not overly sweet, but it's really enjoyable. So I would rock that for sure. All right, number five, also Ketoret. This is 508 Nightfall. Ooh, I, something tells me I would really like this one too. Love the color of the bottle. And this one's sort of like a dark cranberry colored bottle. Please tell me this is gonna work. And now, of course, of course I'm in the middle of the video. And of course, I'll, I'll, I'll never know when there's gonna be some kind of a a, uh, well, here we go, technical difficulty here. Well, I'm not gonna get to this one, or am I? Well, I'll figure out a way to make this work. I am gonna make this work regardless, because I am just not gonna let this thing, I'm not gonna let this thing disturb me. So here we go, I'm gonna do this. Again, this was unrehearsed, unscripted, unedited, but I'm gonna crack it open and just get her done anyway. How about that? I sacrificed that one for you guys. Here we go. Nice. Yep. Yeah, I like that one. I like this one too. This one is bergamot, apricot, pink pepper, jasmine, tuberose, orange blossom, patchouli, vanilla, and moss. Love that patchouli. And love that vanilla. Yeah, this is very likable. I'm really liking this K-Torrit. Uh, series again these are like again nothing here is over a hundred and ten dollars this is a hundred ten dollars i like this one too we're off to a good start folks we're almost done with the first set all right next one is called sparkle sparkle by also by k torette which is 293 sparkle let's do this one 293 sparkle it works yay Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm picking up on this. Lots of florals. Lots of florals. Mandarin, pink pepper, water lily, floral. Orange blossom, jasmine, rose. I'm picking up on the rose. Cedar, patchouli, and musk. Very lovely. This K Tourette series, I have to say, is quite impressive. Quite impressive. I'm really liking this one, too. Because I, I like rose. This one leans more feminine, but I would totally rock it. I totally would rock it. And the next one is Bali, which is number 593 Bali by K Torrett as well. And again, when I think of Bali, I am thinking of, well, I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of, of, of the islands, of something tropical. So let's see what K Torrett, K Torrett, Bali is going to be like. 
Ah, there she is. Folly, 593. All right, let's do this one. Spray. I will say that this, the sprayer on some of these is pretty, pretty bad on the Discovery set. So some of it just spilled all over my fingers. So I'm going to try not to get polluted by that. Okay, Bali. Very light. Very light. Let me just smell my fingers. It's, half of it went on there. Bergamot, cardamom, LME, jasmine, lily, suede, orris root, sandalwood, musk. Absolutely, this is unisex. Totally unisex. Pretty light. Nothing like crazy here, but a unisex scent that I think is going to be very, very pleasant. Kind of a universal, all-purpose scent for sure. Uh, not as tropical as I thought it was going to be thinking there might be some kind of tropical floral or coconut or some kind of tropical fruit. That wasn't the case here. We have seven more perfumes. Here they are. Hopefully I'll have no trouble with these. Next is Jet Black Reserve. Jet Black Reserve. I believe this is the perfume that kind of, I mean, Jet Black, this whole Jet Black series, I believe, is like their signature masculine line this is what I believe Michael Malal, they're, I guess this is what they're known for. So let's see. Let's see. Black bottle, by the way, gold cap. Lavender, apple, cardamom, white pepper, amber, and wood. Very nice. Very, I wouldn't say predictable DNA, but very nice. Very wearable, likable. Um... I wouldn't say this is a Ventus either, but it kind of leans in that territory. It does lean in that territory. Let's just say that. So if you like a fruity, semi-aromatic woody, you're going to appreciate Jet Black Reserve. Then we've got Jet Black Intense, another flanker of Jet Black. Okay, their sprayer worked really well on that one. So Jet Black Intense. By the way, they sell travel sprays for 28 bucks. If you don't want to commit to the full full blown oh i think this one leans more this one leans more this one this one's great man i like this one crisp apple lme wild mint lavender clary sage juniper patchouli vetiver and suede this one actually is the closest to aventus i would say yeah, this is the closest to Aventus, I would say, of the of the bunch so far. But I still have yet more Jet Blacks to go through. Jet Black Intense. Mm, okay. I'm liking it. Don't get me wrong. And then Jet Black Platinum. I know, there's so many versions of it. 28 bucks, by the way, if you just get the travel sprays. And maybe you maybe you want just enough for travel, you know? So hit those if you want those or get the big boys for a hundred and ten dollars okay and what's nice about these jet blacks is they're at least all different they don't feel like a flanker of each other or a more intense version of each other they're completely oh i like this one too jet black platinum is super nice spice lavender cinnamon toffee vanilla suede and amber very nice Okay, this one, okay, Jet Black Platinum and Jet Black Intense are probably my two favorite versions of Jet Black. I do like Reserve too, but I mean, I like them all. I do like them all. Like, they're super nice. Okay, Ocean Noir. I feel like we did Ocean Noir already. So let me just make sure. If we did, I'm going to skip it. We sure did, so that's a repeat. Don't need to do that again. Okay, there's Visionaire. Visionaire, I know I saw this when I was driving by this here. Visionaire. Keep on going to Visionaire. Visionaire is sort of like that blue bottle. It's a blue bottle. All right, I'm struggling getting this one. Oh, there she is, spraying. All over the place, but I got it. Okay, um, this one's to me is kind of um, 
basic. Watermelon, bergamot, lavender, lotus, jasmine, musk, sandalwood, amber. It's a great everyday. Everyday, no brainer, kind of like, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I'm not looking for anything crazy, not looking to stand out. Basic. Is it likable? Sure, someone's gonna like it. But just, it's not, it's nothing like, it's nothing groundbreaking and exciting. Not for me. Back to the Ketoret series. This time we're gonna go look at Spice. Spice, come on, Spice, come on, Spice. Where are you? There we go. The Ketoret Spice. Okay, I think I'm gonna like this one. Just the name alone makes me want to pursue this. Spice, okay. Okay, I'm picking up on the melon. Nice, I'm picking up on that melon. The bergamot, lavender, so I'm picking up on aromatics too, big time. Lavender, jasmine, sage, amber, sandalwood, patchouli. Not as basic as the previous scent, but absolutely a universal, versatile scent. Masculine, feminine, could be worn by anybody for sure. Last one is Black Tie by Ketor the Ketoret series. K Tourette series black tie. I was actually really curious about how this is gonna be. I like the name. I like the like the stuff that he, it evokes. It makes me think this is gonna be something ritzy, something exciting. Let's see. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. Juniper berries, dried fruit, ginger lilies, heliotrope, sage, vanilla, tonka bean, amber, and musk. Yeah, I like this. I feel like this kind of leans in the Jet Black series. Like it could be a flanker of Jet Black. But I do, man, I do like that a lot. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's going to be compliment getting DNA. Also kind of sort of flirting with the Aventus, uh, slight Aventus um, DNA. But it is what it is. But I think it's it's pretty enjoyable. So there you have it. That's just my take on this sample set. Y'all need to try it for yourself. See what you like. And again, if these little sample sets don't spray, you can always peel the top off and then get to the liquid down, down below. So hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope I've inspired you to check out Michael Malal London. And, uh, you know, if you like what you like, let me know in the comments below what you discovered and what you like. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you again in another video. Take care.